Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan. Little Joan is under that blanket. You can't see her. Uh, you know, in order to, it, it's kind of a rainy day here, so Little Joan's kind of zonked out. Quite frankly, I am. My allergies are off the charts, off the charts today. But I have to talk to you about the Bidens again. My God, it just there's just so much here. Now I don't know how real this one. This this is from National File. I'm not really uh, uh, familiar with this. They claim to have Biden's daughter's diary and are releasing details. And there's all sorts of details of drugs and uh, inappropriate behavior. I don't know how real it is. I'm not going to go through it, but I point it out to you. If you'd, you'd like to go through it, it's a nationalfile.com. Uh it's just too much. It's just too much. If true, I mean, my God. Um, but the real, the real um, uh, news story is is the corruption of the Bidens, uh, specifically Joe Biden. And when you look at normal or mainstream news outlets like USA Today, you get this fact check: Biden leveraged one billion dollars in aid to Ukraine to oust corrupt prosecutor, not to help his son. Uh, that's what he says. And if you look at um, Wikipedia, they they list it as the Biden-Ukraine conspiracy theory. So this is what people are up against. Like, you know, if you're not uh, very up on this stuff, if you don't follow politics and you just say, well, let me see what this is about, and you just do a cursory search, this is the kind of stuff that's going to come up. Oh, there's, there's, there's nothing here. It's just just Trump making up stuff. But it is true. So this is uh, from the uh, New York Post back in May. And this is a private phone call between VP Biden and um, the uh, uh, president of the Ukraine. Is it the president? Wait a minute. Yeah, vice president and former Ukrainian president. Right. So he's talking about getting uh, rid of the prosecutor here. To me, that, uh, um, uh, now that's Biden. It's got to be. And a, uh, a new prosecutor general. Uh, I am prepared to do a public signing of the commitment for the billion dollars. There's the money. A billion dollars. Ain't nothing to sneeze at, especially when you're the Ukraine and you, you're, you're running a fledgling government that just got out from the under the thumb of the Russians. Um, I don't know how much of this I could play with the music underneath of it, come to think of it. Um, Poroshenko can be heard defending his prosecutor general before saying he asked for his resignation. All right, this part I'm going to keep quiet. Uh, this is Prosenko. And despite the fact we didn't have any corruption charges, we don't have any information about him doing something wrong. I specifically asked him. No, it was a day before yesterday. I spe specially asked him. He doesn't speak English uh, as a first language. To resign. So he had to ask him to resign. The edit clips were released by Andrea... You know. The edited clips were released by Andrea... Derek, member of Ukraine's parliament with ties to Russia and Rudolf Giuliani. Congratulations on installing the prosecutor general. It's going to be critical uh, for him to work quickly to repair the damage Shokin did. And I'm a man of my word. So now that we have the new prosecutor general is in place, ready to move forward with signing that new $1 billion loan guarantee. Um, you know, he's, he's saying that, oh, he's... He's looking to combat corruption in the Ukraine. Yeah, he's just a, a, a an innocent waif trying to do good in the world. That's all Joe Biden is. Right? That's all Joe Biden is. He is deeply concerned about corruption in the Ukraine. Deeply. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that his son is working for a Ukrainian company, and this prosecutor just so happens to be investigating him. Oh, no, no, no. And here's the clip. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they... 
This is the prosecutor who's going after Hunter Biden's company, Burisma. They said they had it. They walked out to press conference. Said, "No, nah. I said I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." See, this is Biden. He thinks he's out of the race, and he's bragging to the Council of Foreign Relations. And and this would never have come up if he hadn't run for president. <laughs> See, said, they're all I'm laughing. I said, you're not getting a billion, I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked at it, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. There it is. That's blackmail. <laughs> that is blackmail. He is blackmailing the Ukraine, and he's bragging about it. They're all laughing. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. Yeah, who wasn't investigating his son. Uh, this is from OAN. And this clip was really hard to find. I had to search the internet up and down. I couldn't even find it on OAN's site. Um, so I'm not sure when it came out. But someone reposted it. This is a, a segment they did called Bryden's Bribe Tapes Part 2. Um, and this is him talking to, again, Poroshenko about Trump. Overdrive to clean up loose ends. November 16, 2016. Two weeks after Donald Trump's victory. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can hear it. This is two weeks after Donald Trump's uh, excuse me, election. Joe Biden is on the phone with Poroshenko. His voice tenser now than before. This is getting very, very close. What I don't want to have happen. I don't That's how he'll look at it. So in other words, Biden didn't want him looking into the Ukraine. He he uh, he, he knew that the money they sent to the Ukraine probably wasn't even going to be enough. There's so much corruption there. Um, you know, as if one prosecutor, him ousting one prosecutor, that was going to help. Um, and this guy wasn't even corrupt. That's the ironic thing. Here, here he was. You know, probably one of the honest guys in the Ukraine and Biden, a, a total foreigner, comes in and says, oh, fire that guy. Fire that guy if you want your money. In other words, Biden does not want Ukraine asking for more money from Trump. Doing so would cause Trump to look into the details. So anything you can do. Yeah, what what OAN is saying uh, is that if if Trump was forced to give the Ukraine more money, then they might look closer at what happened to the money in the beginning, and they couldn't have that because obviously it was gonna it was going to be like, oh wait a minute, was it Biden's kid over in the Ukraine doing stuff? What the hell was he doing? Of course he's got to look into it. Critically important, I mean, listen to that statement. Critically important to your economic as well as physical security. What the hell is he doing? This is November. He's still in office. Trump doesn't get sworn in until January. The election's over, right? This is, uh, this is after the election. He know Trump's coming in. He is covering his a, that's what he's doing, right? In my view, this is what he's doing. He's covering his butt. He's telling Poroshenko, you better watch your ass. Oh, damn. I said A, and then I said ass. You better watch your ass, Poroshenko. <laughs> Too late now. You better watch it. Your economic and physical security is in danger. This is Biden. He's the VP. He's not even the president of the United States. Listen to him throw his weight around. For what? So his son could get a big payday and so daddy can get a piece of that payday. 
Yeah. Yeah. The laptop confirms all that payday. Uh, for the most part, as I say it. And Jesus, man, you know the deal. The big guy gets 10. Biden's the big guy, identified as the big guy. Here's the big guy doing what he does. He didn't care about the Ukraine. He didn't care about the prosecutor. You're telling me, okay, he had that prosecutor replaced with a guy who wasn't corrupt. Well, why is he going back to the president to tell him this? Why? Why is he threatening his economic and physical security? Oh, because he's got another month and a half left in office. And maybe he'll send the CIA to do a little... I don't know. I don't think he could do that. Maybe Poroshenko, maybe figures Poroshenko doesn't know what his real powers are or what his real, you know, what what he could actually order. So maybe this is all a bluff. This is just, a, see, this is what I called Biden before. He's a bully. He's a tall guy, uh, physically, was always a physical guy. He was intimidating. And when he was a young guy, that intimidation worked. He could bull you over, steamroll you verbally, get in your face. He's tall. He's physically imposing. Well, guess what, old man? You're not physically imposing anymore. So this uh, this little phone call probably didn't work on Porchenko. Look at him. Okay. All right. He's got another month and a half. Well, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. We're going to risk it. We'll see what Trump will do for us. Maybe by this time, there was already some talk with the Trumpies. <laughs> Maybe the Trumpers were already talking to the Ukraine, making guarantees and promises. Maybe they maybe they just figured, eh, we'll just weather the storm. Another month and a half, this guy will be gone. He's only a VP. Most likely, guys like Poroshenko probably know the U.S. government better than Biden thinks. Biden thinks they're just as ignorant as the average voter. So, um, this is all pretty damning. I, I hope you enjoyed this. I put this together. It took a little while. Uh, <laughs> and I'd like to thank OAN and all the various people, the New York Post, and who put all these uh, clips together. Uh, see, it's my little news show. See, anybody can do it. It's fun. Um, again, if you're going to vote for Biden, uh, I mean, you must, you must be out of your mind. Or, you know, willfully ignorant. You've just decided, well, everything Trump says is a lie. Everything that Biden, Biden says is the truth. And, you know, who's who's telling me who to vote? Oh, well, you know, the regular news, they say Biden's the good guy. So I'll believe that. All right. Whatever. You keep believing it. Rasputin poll. Rasputin poll. Which I just pointed out. Oh, excuse me. I'm so congested. Uh, it's got Trump up 46% with black voters. He will crush these guys. He will crush Joe. Unless the deep state is stealing the whole thing. In which case, it's going to be a very interesting 2021. 